Okay, here we go. Blackjack 24. The boost battle basically, together with Ironclad RC. As before, we are running the Castle X8S and the stock motor 2200 kV. I didn't plan actually to put the X8S in here, but I unfortunately don't have anything else at the moment that would fit here. Otherwise, I would probably have put in a 6S 120 MBC or something like that. I don't think this platform need any more than that to actually run these types of speeds, but I could be wrong. This is just my own thoughts on it. So should you want to get in on the on this and it seems like this boat just goes the faster it goes, the more stable it gets. And you can kind of see it in the in the videos that I do here that whenever I come back from the runs going slowly it kind of bounces all over the place but when i get it full trigger it's just planted of course changing the prop as well something i've done so let's just get going i guess here we go let's just see if we got yeah we got the movement i actually forgot if the gps was inside but it seems like it let's get let's get rolling I hope the camera is kind of pointing the right way. It's been so long since I run, so I kind of feel a little bit out of tune with everything speed run wise. Since the last run we did only some minor changes to the to the CG, bringing the CG a tiny bit backwards, just because it was so stable. So track, start, stop, read, one kilometer, track, start. You got the moment there. Let's uh, let's see what we can do. That was just coming off there, a little bit too quick on the throttle, but I held it down. And then when it stabilized, I got full trigger. So that was tricky, I must say. Heart is pumping. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Coming in, we got movement, stop and read, 128, same as last time. Let's see if we can get the more, some more trigger in a little earlier this time. So we will do track and start and stop and read, zero it out, track, start. Let's see if we can bring it out. It. Let's see if we can use the remote here to just get it out of the dirt. So we got the movement, we are in track and testing. Let's go. See if we can get it to stabilize a little earlier this time. Amazing. I think it was a great one. A great run. Let's see. Coming in, 
we got movement stop and read 132 new pb whoa i'm shaking let's just go for another run just because batteries are warming up we just need to get a signal from the gps probably partially on the water here so track start stop read zero it out track start we got the movement let's go final run you should never say that by the way because things go wrong tend to Yeah, let's see if we can get just a tiny bit longer. Amazing. Yeah, you can just get a sense of the speed, not even half throttle there. Let's bring it in and check what sort of speeds we got in this third pass. Let's see if we can get get some connection. Here we go. There we are. Stop and read. 129. Amazing. Third pass, 129, 132 on that second pass. And that, that just goes to show that one pass, sometimes the second pass can be faster. Okay, I forgot to give a shout out to Ironclad RC for just putting out great content, being just a, an overall great character in the hobby. Emphasis on this boost battle thing. It's just cool, I think, to, to be able to, to have like some kind of rivalry inside a hobby in a, in a friendly and good way. Thank you so much, China Hobby Line, for providing these amazing batteries. So three of these were used for this specific setup here, going 132 kilometers per hour using the 6S setup here with the China Hobby Line batteries using an ABC 1816 and uh, running the Castle X8S and the stock powertrain here with the motor and the driveline and everything. So just wanted to put that out there. Also shout out to Mr. Matt for always just pushing the limits of these things. And uh, let's see if he's gonna chip in on it as well. It's, it will be fun to have some more of you on board this awesome stuff that we do. It's just uh, what I think this hobby is all about having fun tinkering with the tech trying different things yeah thank you so much everyone for watching and see you in the next one cheers